Hello, this is Maker Jam one and as I promised in my woods exploring video, I was going to measure these pieces of glass that I thought might be radioactive or uranium glass um, with my Geiger counter. And guess what I did? And a bunch of them are actually radioactive. So that's awesome because I've been searching for radioactive glass for a long time and wanting pieces of it. So this um, spot, this dump where I found, it's probably, I'm guessing, According to Wikipedia, it says that they stopped making uranium glass um, during the Cold War because, well, they would have wanted um, all the ra uranium for um, making nuclear bombs. But it says 1940, so I'm guessing this glass is probably pre-1940, um, but I'm not really sure. So, so as you can see, I actually marked some of these. Um, I measured the counts per minute with my... Um, nicer, or well it's not really nicer, it's just a like a bench top Geiger counter so, and it, it, it only measures counts per minute, this has it says counts per minute there but it's not very ac accurate so um, so yeah this is my uh, Geiger counter, it's an E-Berlin um, and it works really good, I like it a lot it's got lots of different ranges, right so now it's on, oh, on point oh one times and um, as you can see, I've got a speaker hooked up to it, so you can hear the uh, counts per minute. So put it on this one, which is the most radioactive. You can hear the it goes off scale there. Let me turn the scale down to 0.1 and reset it to. You can see the needle goes up a little bit. And this one, I actually measured it with the other one. It says it's about 470 counts per minute. Down here in the basement, I got about 30 counts per minute background. So, so yeah, it's pretty cool though. You can definitely hear an increase in the clicks. See, that's background. You can hear a little bit of an increase when you put it on this one. So, yeah, this one's only 80, but it's a pretty small piece. So, pretty cool, though. These pieces are actually not... They're slightly more than background, but it's not really anything to worry about. And then these pieces here are nothing, so... Just a piece of, pieces of plates and pottery and stuff. But, um... <clears throat> and then I also have other two samples here. This is a uh, smoke detector, which is also... It's a smoke detector button from the americium, which is also gets about 500 counts per minute, so about the same as this. And then here's a piece of uranium that um, my dad bought from United Nuclear. And this gets, if you get the if you get the sensor in the right place, you can get up to about uh, about 4,000 counts per minute, so. But yeah, pretty cool, because I've been looking for uranium glass for a long time. Another trick you can use to, fi to see uranium glass is use a black light, so here's my black light. Let me turn the light off here, and you can see that they glow. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, actually. But this piece here glows quite well. Yeah, the camera does not pick that up very well. And these ones glow slightly. You can kind of see how it's glowing there. And then this piece, for example, doesn't glow. So you can compare these two here. Yeah, it's really hard to see the glow on the camera here. You probably can't really see that at all, but but they do glow quite a bit. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm guessing most of this stuff is probably um, before 1940s. Well, the glass is obviously before 1940s, um, but like this light base here, it actually says on it, Pat, September 3rd, 19. Oh one. So I imagine that this probably would have been used in the house for maybe twenty years or so and then it broke. And so then they threw it out. So it might have been like nineteen I mean they probably would have bought it bought it around maybe nineteen nineteen oh five or something and then used it for twenty years or so and threw it out like nineteen thirty or something. So most of this stuff might be around nineteen thirties in that area. That'd be my best guess. This is an outlet. And this is actually not a switch. I thought it was a switch in my last video, but it's actually probably a um, a light 
a light base thing. <clears throat> so what it would have there would have been another piece to it, and that would have been screwed onto the ceiling, and you would have hooked your wires up to it, and then your lamp or your lamp would have hung on a cord that would have come out of the middle here. And as you can see, this is actually for stress relief. It's kind of rounded there, and you would have hooked your wires up here and here, and then there's a little jumper going over to from here to here and here to here, and then what you would have done is the base would have had two more um, pieces like this and you would have stuck it up onto the ceiling and then twisted it and those two pieces would make contact and latch it onto the um, onto the other piece of the base but this one over here as you can see it's actually broken off as well as the ceramic is all broken there so probably somebody w maybe they didn't have it all the way on and then it broke it off so, but it looks like somebody tried to repair it with a screw there, because that screw is not the same as the one on the other side. And it doesn't really match. So, kind of cool though. 1901 though, patented. And then this is an outlet. I'm pretty sure it probably would have had some of the old outlets are. Whoop! What did I just do? Some of the old outlets have a T shape like that for some reason, and I believe that that's what this would have been, because. If you plug here, so you can plug. So it would have been another prong on the other side here, and the outlet would plug in like this, or like and then there's the T part. So that would have been a T-shaped outlet. Very, it's round. It would have been round though, and I've been googling all over the place and I haven't found anything similar to either of those, which is pretty cool. But I did find something very similar to this one. So let me get that up here. So here that is. So this is, it doesn't say, oh wait, here it says 1924 plug. So pretty cool. 1924. So yeah, I'm really right that these, this stuff is probably around 1930s it was thrown out. Um, this is actually carbon. It's about, I don't know, um, it's, it doesn't have very much resistance actually. It's only about, maybe about an ohm or two um, end to end. So it's not got a lot of resistance, so it could certainly be a battery electrode. Um, some people are saying maybe a carbon rod, but I'm pretty sure it's not a car, or I mean a, uh, an arc lamp, a carbon arc lamp, but it's re really way too big for that. It could be maybe for an arc furnace, but an arc lamp usually has a lot smaller of, um, of electrodes. I actually have also these other ones. This is definitely from a battery. I found this actually in a creek long time ago and as you can see I was actually using it to make arcs but but I was able actually to strike strike an arc with this and it does work as an arc lamp because it's carbon but <clears throat> pretty sure it wouldn't have been an arc lamp because they're generally pretty small electrodes so but yeah that's some of the stuff I've found some of this other stuff I've actually found um, in our other house but so so yeah, but that is, I finally have uranium glass, which is really cool, because I've been looking for this stuff forever, so, but yeah, that's about it guys, hope you enjoyed, keep experimenting and exploring, thanks for watching.